welcome back to a brand new video today on the channel and today finally it has finally happened after two years of waiting Invincible season 2 is finally out I'm so excited to talk about this show it took two years to make but it is finally out. The show is going on a bit of a hiatus right now. It's taking a break till early 2024, which isn't too, too far away, so I won't complain, even though they made me wait two years to watch the second season and they're making me wait longer. I haven't really made a video like this before. I usually review movies when they're all the way done, you know, and series when they're all the way done. And this show isn't quite finished, so, but this is more just a video of me discussing my thoughts about how the season's going, some of the maybe concerns I have, some of the things I'm really enjoying, that sort of stuff. But before I get into really talking about this show, I want to just give a really quick bio of what this season is about. This season takes place about a month after the events of the first season, where Mark Grayson is trying to balance his life as invincible, but also his college studies. And while this is is happening behind the scenes a new mysterious villain is beginning to emerge who may indeed have some ties to the multiverse. As I said before there are going to be some spoilers in this video. I'm not going to spoil like every aspect of the show but I do need to talk about some of it in order for me to get my points across so just take that into note. I am going to be spoiling a little bit. I will give a warning though like I said I will give one just for the people who don't want to know anything and that's completely fair. I will give you guys a warning so don't worry you're going to have that. Starting off the discussion I think it's best to talk about some of the stuff I'm really enjoying about this season, which I'm just going to give a little spoiler in and of itself. Um, I think this season so far is better than season one. Like season one was great. I loved Invincible the first season, but I wasn't like super, super hooked into it. I thought it was great. I thought it was a really good show. Definitely one of the best superhero shows on television, but this season has genuinely been such a roller coaster because I've been loving what they're doing with this season. There's a lot of stuff going on in this season, a lot of different plot lines going on and subplots, which I am going to be talking about a little bit in the cons a little bit later because I have a couple worries about it. So far, every plot line and subplot of the show has been great. There's been a lot of really interesting developments in the story and just little subtle moments. I'm really enjoying what they're doing with Debbie's character, which if you don't know, is the mom of Invincible. They show a lot of her going through her grief of what's going on because Omni-Man left her and basically, basically admitted that she was nothing and that like the 10 years of their marriage was just completely useless and did not matter to him at all. I do love your mother, but she's more like a, a pet to me. Hey, yo, what the fuck? And even with Mark's side of the story, him trying to learn how to become a better superhero and also deal with the fact that his dad was a mass murderer and a lot of people aren't going to trust him because of it is very interesting. They're really trying to flesh out his character more and I've been loving it. And another thing I'm really loving about this season is the tension in every episode. Every episode ends in a cliffhanger and normally that would be kind of annoying, but how they're doing in the show where they're setting up all these different interesting plot lines is just so cool. It actually makes every episode feel important and like you have to watch it or you're going to miss it. And to some people that might be a little annoying even though it's a season of a series so I don't know what you're complaining about. I know some people say that it's filler. And obviously all the voice acting is just fantastic. Steven Young is great as Invincible. He fits the role so perfectly. And you know, J.K. Simmons is back and he is so good. Somehow he is more menacing and just straight up fucked up than before which I didn't even think what was possible, but he is. It's crazy to me. You should have died at birth. And another really quick little thing, I really like how they casted Peter Cullen in this show. If you don't know who this actor is, he's actually the voice of Optimus Prime. And it was actually really funny seeing him show up in an episode, I'm not going to spoil which one. It was hilarious because you instantly know, it's like, oh, it's Optimus Prime. And another thing that is great this season is the animation. I thought the animation in the first season was good, you know, it wasn't perfect, it definitely had some weak moments of animation, but I actually feel like this season has really touched up the animation. It feels a lot more consistent consistent than that first season and it makes for a lot of really really enjoyable action scenes because I thought the action scenes in the first season were pretty good but I think that the action this season is much smoother and that just goes with all the animation it feels like they put more time into it and now quickly moving into some of my worries with the show which I know it's kind of abrupt but I'm just gonna say it right now and I'm a little worried about this not too worried because I am really enjoying what they're doing so far but 
it really feels like there is a lot going on. Like I said, like, with all this stuff going on, none of it is necessarily, like, uninteresting. Like, when a certain subplot comes on, I'm like, like, oh, well, we're doing this again. This is the most boring part, you know? It's never usually like that. I'm usually pretty invested in everything that they're doing in this season. But they are setting up a lot. And I do mean a lot of things. And this is where some of my spoilers are going to come in, so click off the video if you don't want to know. They're setting up this new villain, Levi Angstrom, who is this, like, multiversal traveler who, in the first episode of season two, kind of got entangled with all his multiversal selves. So now he's, like, this incredibly intelligent, massive threat who's going after Invincible. I think he showed up a little bit in, like, the second episode. Never showed back up. And we're four episodes in, and it feels like he should be the main villain, but... They haven't really done anything with him yet. I'm sure that comes later in the season, but it's really confusing because then they're doing other stuff with Omni-Man again, where if you don't know, in this season, Mark found Omni-Man again. Omni-Man literally invited him to his planet that he's residing on to help him fight off the Viltrumites because he's having a change of heart, which I think is a great plot line to go with and is a comic plot line as well, but it just feels like there's forcing a lot of things just right now, just down your throat, and it's not bad. Like, it's not terrible, but it really makes me worried of just how much they're going to put in this season and if it's all going to mash well together and if certain things are going to be left um open-ended for season three because if you don't know they are going to be making eight seasons of the show at least that's what they're aiming to do so there is definitely going to be a couple things in this season that aren't fully resolved but it just feels like a lot and there's a lot of characters that are being introduced which i don't think is a bad thing because i am enjoying a lot of them you know shapesmith is great bulletproof He's just, he's there. They didn't, it's funny how they didn't explain him at all. They were just like, hey, he's on the team now. You need help. He's on the team. And they didn't really explain his backstory, which from un my understanding, he does have a very complex and kind of tragic backstory. So I'm wondering if they'll cover it in this season, but they haven't yet. So we're going to see all this come together. But my biggest worry is just how it is all going to come together. And I know I've already said that, but it's just my one big concern. Because honestly, besides that, I don't really have a whole lot to complain about this show. I'm really loving what they're doing with this season. But honestly, if I was to give like a mid-season sort of score for this season so far, I'd probably give it about a 9 out of 10. I'm loving this season. I don't know what could kind of sway me off the path of not liking this season so far, unless they drop the ball in the last four episodes, which should be coming back in January, but we don't know. But with all that said, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have yourself a great day. See ya.